Hi, I'm Angela DeYoung and I'm here with my dog Macy again today and we're getting ready to start our next project which is going to be adding some uh, architecture features to this particular foyer space. I started out with white uh, to kind of give more of like an art gallery feeling and now after living with it for a little bit of time I realize it's time to kind of step up my game. So with a quick sketch of ultimately what I'd love to have and what I'd love to see in this space and a little bit of painter's tape, I'm ready to get started. So let me show you how you can have this in your home as well. Once I measured and I figured out now where I'm going to have my blocking tape, I'm going to have my template type tape, which you can see right here. <clears throat> and then this is also going to be some more of my template tape and I need to apply some more blocking tape. But the whole point behind this is, is once the tape is on and before you start to apply the paint, you're going to want to take a paper towel and or a, a cloth and you're going to want to rub over your frog tape. And what this is going to do is going to create a stronger bond to the wall and it is also going to activate the tape as if you're getting ready to put your very first paint coat on and you will not get leaking behind the tape. So that's one of the first tips that you're going to want to consider. I'm going to keep working on this, getting my template all uh, framed out. And once I'm done with that first step throughout the entire space, I'll move on to the second step, which is painting. Well, as you can see, uh, most of the taping is done and I have some kind of like fixed tape here because as I'm creating my template, this is, I want very sharp corners and this is a pretty uh, complicated pattern that I created. I would not necessarily consider this like um, hitting the easy button, but it definitely is probably like an intermediate skill level at this point. This, what I put in here is a little bit of wax paper. So all of the parts that are gonna receive paint in this particular example are gonna be here, here, I got some wax paper, paint, paint. And so I'm gonna to continue to fix my edges everywhere where I have like a little extra kind of coming over. I'm gonna go ahead and take like a little X-Acto knife and get a clean edge. And then I'll have a tighter pattern. And then the next time you'll see me, I'll be rolling on the paint. We're finally at that point where we can start applying some of the paint and when you are at when you're wanting to use metallic paint I have experience with this be, uh, what I've realized is that when the paint gets put on it actually you need to be very aware of how it rolls on and rolls off because you will get uh, it shows the roller marks and you also need to make sure that the roller that you're using. In this particular case, I chose a sponge roller so that I can get a nice even coat. All right, well, I'm going to keep working my magic and I'm going to show you how this is going to turn out in the end. I can't wait. Okay, now the fun part. Thanks everybody for watching my channel, Designs by DeYoung. Please make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos. And of course, you can always follow us on all the socials.